Hi, I'm Margaret. I'm Matt. And I'm Vic. We're going to talk about Blade Runner 2049, which yes, we saw we tonight. Will. Just saw it. Uh, who wants to start, Victor? What do you? What is your? T First of all, uh, what did you know about the original Blade Runner? Well, of course, I've seen many versions of the original Blade Runner. Um, when I was younger, it was kind of hard to make sense of it, but as time went on, and there were more AI films, mm -hmm. I kind of, kind of got into it like that, you know, like and the new Blade Runner was just, um, I gotta say, um. Even though I got in at a low price, yeah, I got more than Fada. my money's worth, man. I got on Tuesday. Even if you pay full you, price, you're getting your money's worth. Because this is really, um, it's it's a deep movie. Yes. Um, you could take it shallow if you want, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's fun. Harrison Ford's in it, which was great to see him in great form. You looking, looking good. And um, I don't know what else to say about it except Matt. that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I hate to be like this, but I am more interested in your opinion, not just because you're young, but because you were a novice. You work, You watched Blade Runner 1 how many days ago? Uh, well, I've seen it like a couple times. But, yeah, but uh, now you sat down and watched it like three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I prepared for 2049, Sweet. and I, uh, I watched the director's cut once and the final cut twice within like 36 hours. Okay. I just, wow. I and what was, your, what was your opinion of Blade Runner 1? It was it was a trip. That's all I can really be, say. Be, was, try to elaborate. Try to elaborate. I don't know. It, it didn't make me feel how a lot of other movies do. It just... It, it was definitely very deep. I don't want to put words in your mouth, so give me more. That sounds great. Deep? I don't know. I just... I, I felt it, and I, I knew this one was coming, so I just... Uh, I prepared, and the story... You know the story. Oh, it's, it's, uh, please. It's brilliant. Should we, should, we, should we do it? Do what? What was it? Um, I've seen things. People want to believe. <laughs> Attack ships on fire off the sh shoulder of Orion. Oh, I seen sea beams glisten in the dark. Near the town was a gate. And all those moments you get lost in time, like and night. And there was a lot of that die. in the movie. Oh, what did it call? There was a lot of like. Rain. Oh, oh well, the, what the was it called? It's a, there was no. a lot when you're flavoring, of when you're flavoring the old movie. A lot of liquidness uh, in the lighting of the movie. I was very impressed for, as a filmmaker. Uh, we are both filmmakers and movie. actors. It, it was just. And so um, are you. I put you on IMDb. How's it like? How's it like um, being on IMDb? I, I loved right. Harrison Ford in the movie. Oh. I thought it was a great. Um, I, I have nothing bad to say about the movie. They didn't go too far with... It wasn't like a Terminator movie or... No. Something so stupid. It it's, felt pretty grounded. There honestly. was something very deep about his connection with his his own AI. He's an AI himself, and he has a connection with his AI. Well, don't, AI. don't do too many spoilers. Don't do too many spoilers. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay, okay, don't okay. Don't, don't, don't rip out but, the spoilers. All right, I don't want to kill you, but... Don't kill it. Don't kill the spoilers. This is a very human movie, even yes, though Yes, and that was the emphasis you know, at the most. Even though it's about machines, it's a very human... But the soul, and they talked about it over and over again, the soul, um, and what makes us human, and what, what, brings us, what, what gives us humanity, what gives us a soul, what gives us a connection to the universe, what gives us a connection to earthiness to uh, reality and separate separating us away from uh, machines separating us away from electricity and technology giving us humanity giving us a soul right. I'm kind of wondering in this franchise why they're like going after these machines I mean well, yeah and they, um, and they left that cliffhanger there for I, part three I really don't get it kind mm. of in that kind of way you like uh, why wouldn't we welcome I mean maybe it's a threat somehow it must be something primal but there's something much more deeper to this movie than the action film effects that I always think obviously of this. come along with it I always think of this if we are souls and I think we we surely are then are we not avatars anyway do we are we not organic beings that carry the soul and if we're making organic beings how dare we be so obnoxious to think that they don't have a soul? And how obnoxious should we be that we are thinking that we can put ourselves in the place of God? 
for, for surely if God creates all, then we are leaves on the tree, and we are only fulfilling our destiny and fulfilling the destiny of the greater power. If we're making life, then we're making life through all that there is. We are not creating souls. Souls are. They are, and we, we pick from the Garden of Eden, and we create nothing. We simply follow. We, we have a palette, and we paint our picture. I like your analogy. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it was a, a beautiful movie, and it... Oh, wonderful. Oh, it broke oh. my soul. It was everything I wanted it to be. I, I'm a movie aficionado, far be it to uh, pretend I'm an expert in anything. Master of all, uh, I mean, wait, what is it? Uh, uh, I, I, I do many things, yet I am, uh, I don't master of nothing. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, Jack of all trades. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, listen, definitely feel.